This winter is the first winter in a long time that we're home in Alberta, Canada for most of the winter. You see, our youngest son and his wife are going to have another baby any day now, and I wanted to be home. I want to see him being born. I want to be able to hold him and snuggle a newborn again. I get to babysit his brother while they're recuperating and while they're getting organized. And then, of course, I want to spend some outstanding time and energy with his cousins, my other son's four kids. So we went to Arizona in September. We got back in mid-October and won't be leaving again till sometime in February. And as I said, this is the first time in quite a while that we've been home for so long in a row during the winter. <clears throat> It's only been a month now that we've been back, but I really didn't know I needed this. I needed this so badly. And I really didn't understand, I didn't understand why until it happened. So in this video, I talk about really what surprised me the most about taking a few months off from traveling and why this winter is so important to my future retirement. I'm Maureen Dobransky, and this is Life Starts at Retirement, where I produce a retirement lifestyle video every Monday morning, and then a Money Minute Monday video the first Monday of each month, where I share a money tip in 10 minutes or less. So the past approximately five years, I've spent at least two months in the fall and two months in the spring in Arizona, and then at least three to four months in the summer at our trailer in British Columbia. I'm very, very, very blessed and lucky that I'm able to do that. But as I mentioned this year, our son and daughter-in-law are having another baby. It's a boy, so we'll have four boys and two girls. Grandchild number six. And I just really wanted to be here, so I'm not going anywhere. So we'll be in Canada from mid-October till sometime in February at least. And I have to say, I discovered three reasons why I'm loving this. And it really shocked, shocked me to, to see these reasons. So I'm going to share these reasons today. Reason number one, <coughs> family. I always thought we had a lot to do with the, with our grandkids. Every single solitary time we're home, we have at least a grandchild or two or three overnight. We get to spoil the heck out of them, love them, and then send them home. So when I mentioned to them that we're staying home longer this winter and we can take them more often, CJ, the six-year-old, said, good, Grandma, because we don't see you very often. And that just broke my heart i i really we do we do see them a lot we take them for every week in uh, for a week sorry every summer to our trailer just one at a time or maybe the two boys together for a week each one of them and then when we're home like i say we have them almost every single weekend so i think we do see them a lot but when we're home we haven't been home a whole lot in the last few years. So, we, you know, we've been spending now, now that we are back, we've been spending now more and more and more time with them. And I want to do that the whole entire time we're here. I want to have them all the time. And it seems like instead of just spoiling them and sending them home, it seems like now I hear about their their school and, and their friends and, you know, if their feelings. And we just talk more. And it's been wonderful just to take a more active role in their day-to-day -day lives instead of, like I say, just spoiling them and sending them home. And then I, I did say family, so I had I took my oldest son out for lunch recently, just him and I. And it was wonderf wonderful, it was like blah, 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 blah. We talked and talked and talked and talked. And then our youngest son comes over with their three-year-old just to give his wife a little chance to catch up on sleep because she's so pregnant right now. And hanging out with them has been amazing and my daughters-in-law and I go shopping and we hang out as well it's been a real great I don't want to say surprise but just a great reprieve spending time with them and I really didn't know I needed this but it's been wonderful so the second thing that surprised me was my work. Now I say work because I, I work, <laughs> but I'm a mortgage broker <clears throat> and I manage what's left of my parents' business. I oversee the books of my husband's business. And of course I do these videos and some professional speaking. But although that sounds busy, all of that can be done remotely and on my timeline. But doing it remotely, especially my parents' business, um, 
can be challenging. So I can get it done, but it's not done to the standard that I expect from myself because a lot of what I need to do is here in my office. So when I finally do get back in town, I'm really, really business uh, busy. Sorry, the accounts are located physically here in my office. I need to do errands. I do any meetings that can't be done remotely, updating, finalizing, all of that stuff that just can't quite be done remotely. So when I'm only home for a short period of time, I find that I'm swamped in my office just trying to catch up. But I've been home for a month now and I love being in my office every day and it surprised me. I have time to do extra videos that I can release when I'm busy traveling. I'm working on my website because I want to do some more speaking opportunities. All of my parents and Ken's business paperwork is 100% caught up and it feels wonderful like there's a weight lifted off of my shoulders and it really helps me to sleep nights not having to worry about things right because I know it's all done and done well and that surprised me that I'm enjoying it that much so the third thing that shocked me about staying in Canada this winter was my house this is going to sound a little bit crazy to most people, but I'd come home for a few days from the trailer or a few weeks even from Arizona and I'd have so many things to do like the work, the kids, everything else that the house just got neglected. And 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 actually even to the point where I, I came home for a few weeks and I got up one night in the middle of the night to go to the washroom and I didn't know where I was. I had to think for a minute and let my eyes adjust to know which way the washroom was because I didn't know where I was, which house I was in. I know it's a tough life, isn't it? But I've said now for three years that I wanted to go through all of the stuff in the basement, the boxes and the junk and sort it all out, throw some away, give some away, and then organize it. The, the grandkids are getting older and they can play and have more fun in the basement. I just never had the time or took the time. I have a bunch of touch up painting that I want to do. The doors and the trims all need to be touched up. And even something as mundane as vacuuming, I'm enjoying being surrounded by my home again. It's been it's been wonderful. Now, talk to me when it's been minus 30 and snowing for weeks on an end, I might change my mind, but right now it's been wonderful. It's home. I'm really enjoying it. I just didn't expect to love it so much. So thinking of these three extra benefits to being home this winter though makes me realize that Although I do love traveling, I really do. I love being away from the cold weather and the icky driving. I love experiencing all sorts of things in the world. The most important things really in the world are right here at home. And so I, I've decided that in the future, I'm going to plan a bit more time at home, catching up on things, but most importantly, being with my family. Now, I'd love to hear from you guys what you do when you're at home, what you love about being at home, and what really makes your retirement remarkable when you are at home. I'm Maureen Dabransky. This is Life Starts at Retirement. Again, I produce a retirement video every Monday morning and our Facebook group is growing. Please consider joining. Go to facebook.com slash groups slash life starts at retirement.